This is a fifth and final video tutorial to help you with making a soccer scoring application. I'm just going to click on the top here um, so that you have you can see my code a little bit better. It gives me a little bit more room. Uh, in the last video tutorial, I showed you how to add a timer. Now I'm going to show you how to indicate to the user the number of goals scored at the end in the allotted time. To do that, we're going to go to looks and I'm going to grab the say block and put it at the very bottom. We also need a few join blocks because I'm going to have a number of things that I need to say and I want it to fit all into one speech bubble. So under operators, I believe we'll need about four join operators. So snap those into place. That should be enough. And now we'll give them some information about how they played. So we'll say you scored. Make sure you put a space in there so the, the letter D from the word scored is not right up against the score value. So click on variables and grab our score block. Snap that into place. Put a space in the next one. Uh, and then we'll say goals in space. We'll go to variables and grab the game time. So we're telling them you scored, if they scored four goals, it'll say you scored four goals in 45 seconds. So we'll put a space of seconds. I'm also going to give them some instructions to start again. So I'll say click on the green flag to start to play again. How about? The last thing I'm going to do is add another say block to the beginning of the application just to give the user some instructions because it's important for them to know how to play the game. So under looks, we'll grab that a say block. I'm going to use the say block for two seconds. You might want to adjust that to three seconds because it is, there's quite a bit of information we're going to give them. Um, so I'm going to go to operators and grab some join blocks again. I think three should do it. It might be too many, but we'll try that. And I'll say uh, move the ball around with the video motion. Motion. You have space. We'll tell them how many seconds they have. So we'll go to variables, grab that game time block. Oops, I need a space in there. Seconds. And you can see that I had an extra join block, so I'm going to just move that one down and type in seconds again. So space, seconds, and get rid of that join block. So let's run that and see if it works. So I click on run. I'll make it a little bigger so you can see it. We'll try that again. So click on run. Move the ball around with video motion. You have 45 seconds. That was really fast. You might want to change that to three seconds. The time has started already though. You might want to play around with that to see if you can change it. Cool. And then keep playing. Hope you have fun with that. Remember the goal here is not only to score goals with a soccer ball, but to help you to learn some new skills, learn about some new blocks, and then perhaps create something cooler or with your own creative elements and ideas and challenge yourselves. There's some ideas um, on the original article that I shared, and, and it gives you some extensions and some other things that you might want to try with this program.